Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain and define the strain. So what is strain and how we can explain this strain topic with the help of an example. So I will explain this with the help of an example in order to make it easy to understand. So strain is, can basically be defined as that it is the deformation produced in a body due to the applied load or due to the application of load. So when the load is applied, there is some kind of deformation produced and we call that strains are inside the body. So now strain are basically represented by epsilon with the symbol E and it is equal to the if we define the strain so its formula is basically change in length divided by the original length original length so I can also write it like this change in length delta L divided by the original length and if we look to the units so length unit is always in meter or centimeter and length is all also in meter and centimeter so that's why they cancel each other so it is unitless so there is no unit of the strain now to explain this with the help of an example so i will ex take here is any a rectangular object or a body and i want to apply the load p in this direction is a tension load on this body so what will happen this there will be some inside some stresses will be created inside this body in order to resist this p load so i call it r so now there are some internal resistance created due to this load p acting on the object so this internal resistance r is known as the stresses inside the body and this body will show some deformation if the load is higher so what will happen this body will deform a bit more and it will show some deformation i call it delta l this might be a very small change in the object for example in millimeter or in micrometer but there will be some deformation in this body due to the application of the load now this deformation depends on the object the property of the object the material properties and also on the quantity of the load that how much load is applied the higher the load the more is the deformation and also depending upon the elasticity of the material but anyhow when there is some small deformation inside the body created due to the application of load so we call that there are some changes inside the body and these changes are related to the strains so strains can be defined if i call its l if l is the original length or the total sorry this is not the l l will always be this one because this is the original length l which is the original length of the object and this small is the delta l which is the change happened so the strain can be defined as delta l this one change dividing by the original length so for example this change in length we have seen that this change in length for example is equal to one millimeter and the total length of the object was around 100 millimeter for example 100 millimeter so millimeter millimeter will be cancelled so we got 0 0.01 strain so 0 0.01 strain is created inside this object now if you want to change in percentage so you can multiply this with the 100 percent so we got here again one percent so one person strain is created inside this body because of the load so this is all about the strain that it is the deformation produced inside the body due to the application of load and di dividing the change in length dividing by the original length of the body or the object we call is the strain in our body strain in a body or strain in object so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video